So before we get into the load balancing, we have to complete certain things in the quiz service. Now, if you remember, of course, uh, where we have create we have created these three methods, right? Uh, so in the controller, the quiz controller, we have create, uh, we have get. So basically, for a particular quiz, we can get the questions, and then we have a submit quiz, right? So when you say submit, it will give you the score. Now, if you look at the implementation, so if you see for the create, we have done the coding, right? So the create quiz is done and it is working. We have tested that before, right? So I will just remove this comment from here because the create quiz is ready. But if you go down, we have two more methods to work with. We have get quiz questions and then uh, we have one more, which is the calculate results. Of course, uh, we can change this method name if you have if you have some other method that works. Uh, we can go with a consistent word which is ca uh, get scored. So at this point, just imagine get scored and calculate result are same because both are getting the scored, right? Now these two things are not implemented. Okay, so we want to implement this. So let's start with the get quiz questions. Now what we're trying to achieve here is for a particular quiz. So let's say we have an ID, right? Uh, so what happens is every time I, I can create multiple quiz for the same topic. So let's say I'm running a batch in this every week I want to uh, create a quiz. So every quiz will have a different name and different IDs. Now for that particular ID, so let's say if I create a quiz, fifth quiz, so the ID will be five. And in that particular quiz, I have, let's say 10 questions. So for that quiz, I want all the questions. And then you can see when you say questions, you don't need answers for it. So you need a question wrapper. So basically you need a list of question wrapper. So how will you get that? First of all, we are not storing the questions in the quiz table. So if you verify that once again, uh, let me open my PG admin. And if you see, uh, we do have quiz table here. So if I say uh, view all data, so if you can see here, uh, we have number of quiz created. So I was doing some testing. Last time we have, we have only created one quiz. I was doing some testing for different uh, features and then I've created this too. But ignore that. Let's say I want to work only with the quiz number two, okay, the ID two. And then we have one more table here. And if you observe this, we are not storing questions. We What we are storing is question IDs. So for a quiz, let's say we have quiz number two. For this quiz, which is which has five questions, you can see we only have numbers. But then if you want to conduct the quiz, I need questions as well. Now question arise, okay. Question arise, who has these questions? And the question service knows the actual questions. The quiz only has an idea about the numbers, not the actual question. So now we have to again interact between the quiz and the question service. So how will you do that? It's very simple. So first of all, for a particular quiz ID, I need the quiz. So we'll take that. So I will just uncomment this part. And also I will make some changes here. So instead of optional, let's say I don't want to use optional. It's a good, it's a good practice, but just for example here, I'm working with quiz directly, right? I'm using this get method. So before we get the questions from the question service, we need to get the IDs of it, right? So let's say if I specify, I want to go for two, I want all these IDs, which is mentioned here. Now, how will you get the IDs? So we have to get that from the quiz ID itself. So if I go back to quiz, it has all the question IDs, right? So in order to do that, let me go back to quiz uh, service. I will use a method. So in fact, I can remove everything from here and let's keep it clean. So basically I need to get the IDs, right? Now that ID will be list of integers, right? That's the type of it. So it's a list of integers and I will say question IDs equal to, and then we need to get that from quiz. So we'll say quiz dot get question IDs. Now, once you get the question IDs, I can request my question service to give me the questions for this IDs. And if you remember, if you go back to your quiz interface, which is also a proxy between the quiz service and the question service, we do have a method which is get questions. If you can see get questions for ID, it is actually accepting the list of integers. Okay, so we are good. We can just request to that particular interface. So I can say quiz interface and the method name is get questions for or get questions from ID and we just have to pass the question IDs. Okay, now what it will return. So let me just go back here. So it this method returns a list. In fact, it returns a response entity list question wrapper. So I can simply get that and paste it here. Again, this is not copy pasting. This is code reusing. Why do you type the same thing multiple times, right? Uh, but you don't do it. So when you are practicing the code, you type it by yourself. So you can see we, we got response entity list of question wrapper. And we'll say this is questions equal to, in fact, we need to put that here. Cut, paste. Yeah. So you can see we got the list of questions. And this is the thing we need to return here. So we have to return questions. 
So that's what we wanted to return, right? Okay, wait, we just, we don't need to do all these things. We can simply return the response object. So I can say questions, this should be good. Okay, so this is done. So this particular method is done, which is the get questions. And of course we need to test this as well. So how will you test this? It's very simple. Just restart the server. And we are not making any changes in the question service, right? So I can simply restart the server here. And let's see if this works. So let me open my postman. And now what request I have to send? So basically we have to send a get request now. And then it is in the quiz. And what method we have? So if I go back here, the request we are trying to send is this. So we have to say get and you have to pass an ID, right? So I can say slash get slash. And the ID is let's say two. Of course we have that too. And I can click on send. And you can see we got a response, which is the questions, the actual questions. So we got for 17, seven, and we can verify that eight, six. So it starts with 17, seven. Let's verify it from database. So for the quiz two, 17, seven, 18, eight, six. So it's it right, 18, eight, six. That's right. So we are getting the right questions. So this is working. Uh, now we need to work on one more thing, which is the get score. So what if you want to submit a quiz? Now we are calling a calculate, re calculate result, but again, this is not ready. So again, we have to interact with the question service because question service is responsible to get this score. Uh, we have done that before. So let me just go back to question service. And in question service, if you see the controller, so this is where we are saying get score, we're just calculating the score from the questions from the question service and all the operation we are doing in the question, in the question service, not in the quiz. The only job of quiz service is to request, right? So quiz is being very lazy here, but that's how we build a system, right? Now, what are things we need? So I will, what I will do is I will remove everything from here. The only thing we have to do is we have to call the get score method, this particular method, which is get score. So who will do that? So it is quiz interface dot get score. And whatever responses you got here, these are the responses you have to send. Nothing much. I will just simply say responses. And what you will get is the result. Now in which format? So basically if you go to quiz interface, it will return the response entity integer. So I can just copy this and paste it here. This is what you're going to return. And then so let's say this is the score. Okay. And that's it. In fact, you can also say write or score that also works. And we are returning. In fact, we can return the object itself. We can return the score because that is of type response entity integer. And we got it, right? So this is so simple. Nothing to do in the quiz service. Everything is happening in the question service. We are just requesting it. I hope this will work. Let me try it out. So restart the application because we have made some changes. And now after making the changes, let's go back to our postman. And so we are getting questions. There's no problem with that. This time we have to submit the quiz. Okay, responses, right? And instead of typing it, you know, somewhere we have done the response, right? Somewhere it should be there get score yeah this is here so get score in get score basically we have to pass the response right so you can see these are the response we have the changes we have to make is we are sending a post request the port number is not 8080 it is 8090 this time and uh, the quiz and the get score is it the get score method let's verify that quiz controller oh no it's a submit i know we have used different uh, terms here but let's do that so we'll say submit and then uh, we can also pass the ID for the quiz. So let's say we are working with quiz two and these are the response we have. I'm not even sure if we have the same questions, but it doesn't matter. Let's say get, let's say send and let's see what happens. We'll change it if it doesn't work. And you can see we got three. Okay, so this is working, right? And if you make any changes, uh, I think we have done this last time as well. But let's say if I make one more change, uh, if I remove the space from here, which is incorrect. And if I click on send, you can see the score now is two. So this is working, right? So get score is working and uh, the get questions is also working. So by doing this, basically we have made two microservices, which is running. There's no problem in that. Uh, one microservice is able to call second microservices and whatever features we wanted to implement, it's working, right? But now remember in the previous section, we have talked about, we have two question service running. So if I go back to the question service here, we have two instances which is running, which is getting called. We are not sure, right? Is it the 8080 responding to the quiz service or 8081 responding to the quiz service? How will you get to know that? And there's a concept of load balancing, okay? So we'll, we'll discuss that thing in the next video.